Okay, actually in this video, we will see that how we can increase the number of epochs, the maximum number of epochs and save frequency in RVC like train model. Like if you have watched my previous video, you know that how you can train your custom model. But there we saw that like by maximum, we can train until uh, thousand epochs and the save frequency also we can keep and the maximum of 50 epochs. If you want to increase more than thousand epochs, it seems like it is impossible. But actually, uh, what these things that you are seeing here, right? This is not the real coding. It is just the uh, form, like output form of your coding. Like the coders does not want you to uh, change any values in the coding. So they make this uh, kind of output, this kind of form for the users so that the user can interact with the coding in an easier way. So if you want to uh, change the number of epochs and save frequency, then directly we need to change it from the code. So for that, if you want to see open the real code, then go here and click this icon. So when you click this icon here, we can see the real code. So this is the code and this is the output form. Like whatever I'm changing here, it will alter here. See, for example, I can see here, there is a two variable. These are called variables see here. The save frequency is set as 50 because I set the save frequency as 50 here. So if I reduce or if I change, see, it will dynamically change over here. So this is nothing but this, this is kind of user friendly so that we will not touch the code, but directly using this form, we can give the values. And here we can see the maximum number of epochs is a thousand and the minimum is 10. It is because here we see there is epochs, right? And in the code, we can see it is the type is slider. That's why we have a slider here. And the minimum is set as 10 and maximum is set as 1000. So that is why the minimum is 10 and the maximum is 1000. And step is equal to 10. Step is nothing but like whenever I'm just moving, right? It will move 10 like by 10 by 10. Like it will reduce and it will increase by 10. So that is step. So if you want to increase the number of epochs, what you have to do is you need to go to the epochs and the maximum is set as 1000. You just maybe you can keep as 10,000. Now you can see that you can train your model until 10,000. Like you can keep from 10 to 10,000, you can keep anywhere. In the same way, if you want to uh, increase the save frequency value, then maximum you just change it to 500. So now you can even keep your maximum frequency as 100 or 200 up to you so you can change according to your need but remember that this is the real code to train the data so if you are doing some uh, changes over here it is not going to affect your uh, coding but if you do something here if i just change the value something like here if i by mistakenly if i did something over here then it will affect my training it will show some error or it will affect my training so if you don't know anything about programming much then better don't uh, change anything other than these two you just touch the epochs thing and touch the save frequency these two and don't change anything over here but if you know programming then you can go around and you can try to alter this value like there are like these are some neural networks so if you are familiar with neural network uh, uh, things and uh, how to train the model then you can just go around and uh, tweak the parameters so that you will get a better result but anyway if you don't know programming then i will suggest don't touch anything just change only these two value and you can increase the number of e epochs and save frequency.